as a complete noob with hardly any experience with a 3D printer that I would try to print one of the hardest prints you can print on a 3D printer. You guys want to buy some filament? What is up cupcakes? I am Nick and this is Build Dad Build. I've been a maker in some way, shape, or fashion my entire life. And slowly along the way, I've learned different tool sets, but there's always been one machine that I thought was too nerdy, even for me. And that's 3D printing. Not to insult my 3D printing brethren out there, because I always just felt like the learning curve was gonna be way too steep for one of these machines, and those guys are much smarter than I am. You might even say, they're kung fu is better than mine. My Tiger Kung Fu is better than yours. So when Creality reached out and wanted me to review their Ender S1 Plus, I was a little nervous to say the least. It just seemed that when 3D printers first came out, you had to be really detail oriented and technical. And I'm not good at either one of them. <laughs> But more and more, I kept seeing people say, oh, I can just 3D print that. And I wanted to have that ability. So they sent this bad boy out and I thought I would do like a how to assemble video, but it's just way too easy. Um, I'll link up here to the live that I did while I was putting it together, but it's, it's literally like four or five pieces. The instructions are spot on and it just really didn't seem like that was enough for a video. So once it was set up, I just ran one of the test files that they have, this little bunny, and it turned out flipping perfect. Look at that. So then just to make sure everything was working correctly, I printed out a calibration cube. And this thing turned out fine too. Look at that. So next up, every 3D printer's rite of passage is you gotta print a Benchy, which is this little guy. All I know is that this has some specific measurements and things on it that lets you know if your 3D printer is working correctly. Again, I'm a complete noob to this entire situation. And I remember talking to some people in a 3D printing group and somebody said, and it'll always stick with me, that a 3D printer or using a 3D printer is the closest thing that we have to magic in today's society. And so the question became, did I just learn magic that easily? Do I now know said Kung Fu? I know Kung Fu. Show me. By the way, I don't know why I'm making so many Kung Fu and Karate references in this video. Yeah! So I decided that as a complete noob with hardly any experience with a 3D printer, that I would try to print one of the hardest prints you can print on a 3D printer. That's right, an articulated dragon. Let's do this. I thought I'd show you how easy this process is if you just wanna download someone else's design. So I just came here to Thingiverse and I'm gonna type in here, Articulated Dragon. See that we get several of them that are coming up. I'm gonna go ahead and go with this one. So from here, you're just gonna download the file. And for the most part, this process is free in Thingiverse, but you can tip your design. So once I have this guy, I'm just gonna pull it out on my desktop. I'm gonna drop this down. And then I'm just gonna open this and this is gonna have a couple files in it usually. So we've got the files, You've got images of what the files are supposed to look like. And then the files themselves, this is what you're gonna put into your slicer. So what we're gonna use today is Ultimaker by Cura. We open that up. And then I'm gonna grab the dragon file and just drop it right in here. And there we go. And this is stuff that I found out after the fact, but if you click on it, you can hit rotate, you can turn it around, stuff like that. You wanna make sure that it stays flat. So there's this lay flat function. So drop it down onto the printer bed. Anyway, you always want it to lay flat when it prints. It's just gonna print a little bit better. And then I'm leaving all the settings, the, the, the machine settings. So I'm not messing with anything. So now, now that you put your STL file in here, you wanna hit slice. And while it's doing that, I'm putting the SD card that came with the printer into my computer and it should recognize it. So we've got my Ender 3 disk in there. I'm gonna hit no action. And now it says save to removable. But so now it's saved it to my removable drive and I can just eject it from there. And there we go. We are good to go. We can go put this in the machine now. Okay, so now we're gonna home the machine, let it do its thing. And then here I am doing a manual leveling of the machine. I'll link to a video to show how to do this down below. And now I'm letting the machine auto level itself. Uh, this might be overkill, but hey, who cares? And then just pick the file. Next up, I'm preparing the filament, just getting it ready to go. Here I am hanging it on the machine and you just wanna pull it through this little guy right here. 
and then feed it into the machine itself. All right, and then we're just gonna hit play and let the machine start doing its job. So here it is, it looks like it's printing great, doing its thing, look at it printing, 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 and then all of a sudden, fail. So I don't know what happened, but it barfed on itself in like the 11th, well, I say 11th hour, like the 15th hour. Like everything was cool up until that. Woo! Very cool. All right, let's try again. Sorry about the horrible lighting. Um, this is the second failure where we just kind of went spaghetti head on the top of it. What I've been told is that that might be a change in the uh, ambient temperature in the room. And as the end of this print has been happening in the middle of the night, it's cold in Houston right now, or it's cold at night. And uh, this is on the second floor. I don't have the temperature, I don't have the heaters high up here because nobody's up here in the evenings. What I do is start the print first thing tomorrow morning and that way it will print all throughout the day and it won't actually hit that cold time at night and we'll see if we can get rid of a get rid of old spaghetti head there groovy groovy check out the shirt the wife and i are getting ready to go out to dinner so that's this is just be jumping in here real quick tomorrow morning tomorrow morning we feast or we we start the program. And it might be hard to tell on camera, but all three of these prints failed and fuzzed out on me about the same place on the head. Now, if I was a more experienced 3D printer, I would have thought of a couple of things that I found out after the fact. One is you can take an object and re-slice it, which I didn't know that, or I could have just run it through the slicer again that may have taken care of the problem. Two, in most slicers, you can go layer by layer and see if anything looks out of place. Now I did that with this model after I had already downloaded a new articulated dragon model. So I didn't see anything wrong with it, but I'd already downloaded and printed a new one. And I'm happy to say it was a success. Check that bad boy out. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Roll it, roll that beautiful bean footage.